Welcome back and good morning. We went from 75 degrees the other day to 28 degrees this morning. It's cold out. The duck hole we're going into is a familiar spot to me and it's Phil's go-to. There was hardly a cloud in the sky and the ducks flew real early and were landing all around us like this one right in front of me. And unfortunately, hardly anything flew after legal time. No. Phil collects decoys and I head over to pick up his duck. And I tell you what, a wood duck drake is about the prettiest bird there is. It's Monday afternoon and we're back at it. I'm back in the same box blind I shot that deer out of the other night two nights ago and uh, Phil's in his same spot if they come out the same way I'm not gonna shoot I'm gonna let Phil shoot if they come out to the front I'll go ahead and shoot got a little bit less than two hours of legal time at this point it's been really cold today so I think these deer are gonna come out to feed for sure there's some fresh tracks we cut coming in so We'll see how this goes. I'm shooting a different rifle tonight. Got the 25 aught six. We took a test shot today at, at close range and it's about right where you want it to be. I put some doe urine out back here at about four o'clock off the kind of the back right side of the stand. It made a little mock scrape down here, put some doe urine in that too. It's probably 45, 50 yards back there. I bet you when I came out of the bushes just then, right back there, running around and out there, but it was 10 deer running around out there. I don't know if it was a buck chasing or does chasing. They did not come out of these woods. I think they came out. That damn back field was full of deer. Dang. Let me tell you what happened. Two deer came out. Big one and a smaller one. Big one looked my way. I froze. She stared at me for three, four minutes. Finally got my gun up. She decided to try and walk back to the woods. The little one duck, ducked in the woods. If she had stopped, I was gonna shoot her, but she started walking and never stopped. I could have, I, I, I'm 95% sure I could have dropped her, but I wanted her to stop. I didn't want to shoot at a walking deer. But anyway, it was a fun evening. Those might've been the two I think two came out from over here. I bet it was them because they went, they went right back in. 
I turned around and there's a big doe right in the, the lane. Where'd she come from? I don't know. She was look, She was facing that way in the woods. And the little one, the little fawn, was behind her out 20, 30 yards well, in the field a, that way. That was them. They must have... You must have been looking this way and they come across. Yeah. I don't I don't see much to my left because I can't shoot that way. Yeah. But then just a little further down from them, there were two big does right near this corner. We'll get another deer out here. But I swear, boy, they don't come out until late, do they? The following morning, we go to a spot that Phil's familiar with, but I haven't been to. And in order to get there, you got to take Phil's ATV and go a long way in. These two were so close, I had no choice but to miss. The opportunities this morning were also very limited. Unfortunately, there were no ducks, so now we got to do the four wheeler ride of shame being skunked yet again. Later on in that day when we were running some errands. We can bring this, dude. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. About forty miles right there. Why can't we find this where we're hunting? So the ducks have really been putting it to us. Oh, those are big ducks. That's about 10 of them. So the ducks have been wearing us out and Phil got permission from the landowner to come back here and hunt tomorrow. So we're checking it out today. There's a three pack coming back in. And uh man, it's a beautiful swamp. Beautiful. You just stand here. We can shoot out of this. See what we need to do though. Don't we need to bring some camo and just drape over it? I'll tell you what, put a burlap in front of you. Well you know I got I got a piece of camo netting about 10 feet long and four feet wide. We could lay it right over here. This is pretty good. I mean, if we knock this out of the way. Well, it's Tuesday night going into where we hunted last night, which is also the same spot. I got that doe a few nights ago. Phil's not coming because it's supposed to be raining pretty good right now. And so he was just sitting out in the woods in a low chair. So that, that uh, box blind, it's a little tight for two adults. So he's back at the shop. And uh, we're going out to see if we can't maybe get another deer for him. Last night those, there were a couple deer right in here. But I'm not really seeing any tracks. Kind of just trying to walk quick though. This is the spot they were in last night, and I can't get a shot from in there. You can hear the rain on the tin roof. With about 45 minutes of legal light, I see a deer. It's a little fawn. It looks like it's going south to north. 
but then I see the other two and they're actually going north to south. That big doe, she sees my mock scrape and she is very interested. Sorry for my big head right here. I just knew keeping tabs back there was going to pay off. Hey. Uh, they were in the woods behind me. I shot her at about 40 yards left-handed. Yeah, they were coming north to south behind me. I've been keeping tabs back there and saw a baby. And then I started seeing you know a couple others yeah 40 yards uh she's down i mean she just dropped we'll do bye well here's a nice doe here in north carolina 25-06 at 40 yards left-handed out the back window or i guess out the side window but but out behind me so i think phil's gonna have plenty of meat for this winter and the bullet's actually right here under the skin on the off side. I think I smashed the front shoulder a little bit. So we're going to punch our tag, go get the game cart, and get her out of here. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but she was actually really investigating the mock scrape I put in. I think it was yesterday, and I freshened up today. So that's what she was on. Her nose is about in it. The light is fading here, but she was sniffing the mock scrape. Uh-oh, not good. That's not what you want to hear. Well, I really thought everything was going along splendidly, but what I didn't realize was I kind of messed up pretty good before it even started. I thought I got in here, I grabbed the turkey chair that Phil wanted, I got into the blind before it started raining, I got a doe, I'm out of there, going to get back at a good time. But I left the headlights on. So that's the kind of thing I would I do when it's light out and I got the headlights on. It was sprinkling ever so slightly, so I had my headlights on. I got here, did not turn them off. So car is dead. Truck is dead. And uh now Phil's gotta come over here and get me, which is the opposite of what I wanted to do. I just thought I was gonna be able to drive back. Be back in plenty of time. But, uh, nope. Nope, not tonight. 
but I did get my tag punched, so I'm legal to move this deer. And, uh, yep. Yep. That's how I roll sometimes. Shoot myself in the foot. Wednesday morning, we're going in heavy. Kayak, a pile of decoys, going into that sweet spot we reek on the day before. And we did see a pile of ducks. They were just high and on the move, not interested in what we had to offer. I probably saw over 200 ducks fly over. Yeah, they are. Shameless plug. Check the link below in the description. Use RGO10 for 10% off the hand warmer. No deer hunting that night. Phil's got plenty enough meat for what he needs. So the following morning, we're going back into his go-to. It's a cloudy morning, and so the ducks did wait a little while to fly. Unfortunately, there just weren't a whole lot of them. Hey, and again, my hands didn't get cold, but we did come out with two birds, two birds that Phil shot. Nice wood duck and a female hooded merganser. We were certainly on the RGO struggle bus on this trip. If it wasn't for those two deer, we'd have been a pile of hurt. But that's why they call it hunting, and next year, we got them figured out. Hope you liked this video. If you did, give us that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down there, and as always, thanks for watching.